Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Last summer, Governor Kemp appointed a three-person committee to investigate Pulaski County Sheriff David Brannon. Governor Kemp asked the members to report back to him within 30 days, but eight months later, no report, and the sheriff is still on the job. So what's happening with that investigation, and is Pulaski County Sheriff doing his job, and is he fit to remain in office? Ashlyn Webb went to Pulaski County to talk to the sheriff himself. She joins us now to tell us what she learned. Yes, after multiple attempts to get in touch with Sheriff Danny Brannon, we finally spoke to him today. He claims he didn't even know about the state investigation. Meanwhile, the governor and state attorney general say it's still ongoing. The three member committee so far won't say what they've learned about Brannon or why they're still investigating. Governor Kemp's order says the Georgia Sheriff's Association informed him that Brannon was not performing his duties due to, quote, incapacity. In a letter dated July 8, 2022, Kemp named Attorney General Chris Carr, Newton County Sheriff Azell Brown, and Columbia County Sheriff Clay Whittle to investigate. 13 WMAZ sent records requests this month to all three members and to Kemp's office. Each responded no records were available. On March 2nd, Kara Richardson, CARS communication director, wrote by email, We have not yet provided a report to the governor as the committee's investigation is still ongoing. We followed up with a request to interview CARR about the status of the investigation and why they didn't meet Kemp's 30-day deadline. She wrote that the attorney general's office cannot comment on the pending investigation and CARR would not sit for an interview. This is Danny Bryan. After multiple calls to the sheriff, we stopped by the Pulaski County Sheriff's Office asking to interview Brannon, but he wasn't at the office. So where was the sheriff at 11 a.m. on a Wednesday? We found him at home. The governor um, issued this order saying that you're under investigation. Oh, I don't know nothing about it. Okay, would you want to read the letter and comment? Nah, I don't want to make no comment. Okay. I don't know nothing about it. Brandon told us he's never been notified by the governor, sheriff's association, or any other state officials about the investigation. Why would you be under investigation, would you know? I don't know. So, as of now, there's no confirmation on why Brandon is under investigation. Of course, we'll keep checking to see when that investigation will be complete. Frank, Glory, back to you. All right, thank you, Ashlyn. Uh, sheriff Brandon was elected uh, uh, sheriff in 2016, re-elected four years later. The state investigation started eight months after five Pulaski County inmates escaped from the jail in November of 2021. Two of them were murder suspects and the escape launched a statewide search. To me, it's very embarrassing because I don't think I have ever heard of five inmates getting out at one time. So, yeah, it, it's embarrassing. It sure is. But there ain't nothing that you can do about it. They done got out. And all you can do now is work as hard as you can trying to get them back in. And in April 2021, a black former Pulaski County deputy's civil case ended up in a federal appeals court. Johnny Blash sued for wrongful termination and wrongful arrest when Sheriff Brandon was a captain in Pulaski County. He alleged that Brandon was a, quote, blatant racist who insisted on getting Blash fired for no reason. The U.S. Court of Appeals ruled Blash was likely the victim of discrimination and sent the case back for trial. Brandon and the county settled with the former deputy.